This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create an effect where skin is cracking and peeling away, as you see here in the thumbnail image. And this is an effect that will really only work on an image where uh, it's it's really in focus and there's a lot of crisp clarity in it. If, it, if it's an image that has uh, kind of like a filter applied to it, or it's kind of blurry or pixelated, or it's taken with a low resolution, and not like a not good quality camera, it probably won't work as well. So that's something to keep in mind before trying to implement this on your own images. But if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, the images I will be using will be linked in the description of the video. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna open up this image here of the girl. We right click that and open with GIMP. And there's our image. I just want to right click that and make sure there's an alpha channel, add alpha channel. So make sure that's clicked. And then we'll take this image here, this texture of um, cracked and peeling paint. We'll click and drag that into GIMP as well. And um, well, you know what? Let me undo that. Edit, undo. I want to take this image and scale it down a bit. If I press one on the keyboard to zoom into 100%, it's a little too big. So I'm going to go to image, scale image. And for the height, I'm going to set the height to uh, 1280 instead of 1920. And then if I click on the, on the width, input box up here, it should automatically drop it down to 848. So go ahead and click scale. If not, that means you probably have this lock icon turned off. So just either turn it on or just go ahead and type in 848 manually. Go ahead, hit scale. And that's a little more reasonable. So what we could do now is uh, take our paint image, cracked and peeling paint and click and drag that into GIMP. And there we have that as a new layer. I want to right click that, make sure that has an alpha channel, click on add alpha channel. And I want to rotate this around so it's oriented vertically instead of horizontally. So I'll grab the uh, rotate tool. I'll just click and drag and rotate this around so it's, it has like a vertical orientation. Go ahead and click rotate. And if you look at the image, you'll notice it kind of is almost kind of like a gradient of colors going on here. On the right side of this, this texture, there's a lot of like white. But then towards the left, there's like a lot of yellow. It's like yellowish, greenish shade. So we want to be working with the side where there's a lot of white because the white is going to be where the transparency shows through. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to come up here to where it says mode, this drop down. I'm going to set that to um, multiply and you're going to start to notice the, um, the girl image showing through, showing through the texture there. And I'm going to grab the move tool over here. I'm just going to take this texture and move it over to the left. Um, yeah, move it to the left so that the white, the white part of the uh, texture is showing through. And I'll position it like that. I'd say that's pretty good. And what we want to do now is we want to eliminate all of the outside. The, the, um, the effect is only going to be on the face right here. So we want to eliminate, we want to erase all of this outside area. But instead of taking the erase tool or the eraser tool and, and manually coloring it all out, what we could do is we can click on the uh, layer with the girl image on it. And then we can grab the uh, select by color tool and then come over here and just click on the color white. And it's gonna select everything in that layer that's colored white. And what we could do now is click on the uh, texture layer and just press delete on the keyboard. And that'll, that's gotten rid of, not all of it, but it's gotten rid of most of it. It's a lot less time we're gonna have to spend erasing out that area. So what we could do now is go to select, uh, select and click none. And, um, what I want to do now is, uh, if you notice the two different tones of the skin here, this the skin where the texture is, it's a little darker than what it was previously. If you toggle this layer off, you'll see what I'm saying. So to do that, I want to make these whites a little more white in that texture. So I'll go to um, Colors, and I'll click on Curves. And I'm going to take this node up here to the top right and just bring that to the left a little bit, just to bring those whites out a little more. But you don't want to bring it too far to the left. If you bring it too far to the left, you're going to lose the shadows on the, on the peeling and the cracking, and it's not going to look realistic. So just keep it moderate somewhere over here. Maybe uh, like that. That's pretty good. Go ahead and click OK. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab the eraser and just erase out these parts where we don't want this effect to be. So I'll grab the eraser tool. Uh, I'm going to use this brush here, the 075 hardness. And uh, for the size, I'm going to make this a little bigger. Something like that. That's pretty good. And I'm just going to zoom in by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. 
Let's go ahead and start erasing it out. We don't want the effect on the hair. It doesn't look realistic if, it, if it's on the hair. So we'll erase that out of there. Remove that from there as well. Remove it off of the ear. We don't want it on there. And down here on the neck. Because again, this effect is just going to be applied to the face. Remove that. I'm going to have to bring this brush down a little smaller here in a minute. To go to make the brush smaller, instead of going over here, I'm just going to use the bracket key. You can use the bracket keys to make the brushes smaller and bigger. That's, uh, I've noticed that's a lot more convenient. Uh, I'll get rid of that. And maybe I'll make this a little larger with the bracket key for the, for the ear over here. And let me zoom out a little bit. Just hold control and roll down the mouse wheel. And we're looking pretty good. So what we got to do now is uh, I want to bring out some more color in um, the, uh, the face here where the skin is. But before I do that, I just want to go ahead and erase the cracks going over the lips and the eyes because that shouldn't be there. It doesn't look realistic. Let me zoom in a little more. Make the brush smaller again using the bracket key. And again, to zoom in and out, I'm just holding control and rolling up and down the mouse wheel. Move that from there. And same thing. And to move the page around like this, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. Go ahead and get rid of that. And let me just zoom out. Okay, now getting back to bringing out these colors a little more. What I want to do now is I want to take this first image, the first layer here of the girl, and I want to duplicate that by clicking this button that says dupl create a duplicate layer. And I want to bring that above the other layer. So that's sitting on top. And what I want to do is set the mode to overlay. And if you notice, it made the colors pop a little more. So what I'm going to do is, we, it's, it's the problem with it though is that it took away some of the, um, it took away some of the, uh, like the visibility. Like if you notice the, um, kind of like the contrast. Let me look. If you notice the eye here, you notice it's it's much darker over here. You can't really see much details. If I turn that off, you'll notice you can see more details. So we just want this. Let me turn that back on. We just want this going over the skin portion because that's where it looks best. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the uh, the texture layer, and I'm going to right click that and go to Alpha to Selection. So it's going to select everything on that layer. And then I want to invert that selection. But before I do that, I want to click on the first layer up here. And let me just right click that and make sure there's an alpha channel there. Yep, there is. So now I want to go to select, invert, and then press delete. And then go to select, none. And I want to take the, uh, the, 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 uh, the opacity of that, and bring that down a little bit. Just, just about to like 72. And if you, if you toggle the visibility on and off, you'll notice the difference. It looks a little better. And uh, let me just zoom in up here. If you notice by the hairline, it looks like there was a little, uh, a little bleed through area that shouldn't really be. I'm just gonna go ahead and erase that out with the eraser. Looking pretty good. Now uh, we'll go back here to the texture layer. I wanna take out some more of this where the hair is. Those cracks really shouldn't be there. And if you want to get a little more detailed, you could even zoom in a little more and take the eraser and like erase like these little splotches in there. Just if you want to like spend some time touching it up and look making it look a little better, you could do something like that. So uh, that should pretty much do it for this tutorial. That's how you can create that effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.